Goodyear Inflatoplane Type of Aircraft The Goodyear Inflatoplane was an inflatable experimental aircraft made by the Goodyear Aircraft Company, a subsidiary of Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company, well known for the Goodyear Blimp. Although it seemed an improbable project, the finished aircraft proved to be capable of meeting its design objectives, although orders were never forthcoming from the military. A total of 12 prototypes were built between 1956 and 1959, and testing continued until 1972 when the project was finally cancelled. Design and Development The original concept of an all-fabric inflatable aircraft was based on Taylor McDaniel's inflatable rubber glider experiments in 1931. Designed and built in only 12 weeks, the Goodyear Inflatoplane was built in 1956 with the idea that it could be used by the military as a rescue plane to be dropped in a hardened container behind enemy lines. The 44 cubic foot, 1.25 cubic meter container could also be transported by truck, jeep, trailer, or aircraft. The inflatable surface of this aircraft was actually a sandwich of two rubber type materials connected by a mesh of nylon threads forming an I-beam. When the nylon was exposed to air, it absorbed and repelled water as it stiffened, citation needed, giving the aircraft its shape and rigidity. Structural integrity was retained in flight with forced air being continually circulated by the aircraft's motor. This continuous pressure supply enabled the aircraft to have a degree of puncture resilience, the testing of air mat showing that it could be punctured by up to six 30 caliber bullets and retain pressure. There were at least two versions. The GA-468 was a single-seater. It took about 5 minutes to inflate to about 25 psi, 170 kilopascals, at full size. It was 19 feet 7 inches, 5.97 meters long, with a 22 foot, 6.7 meter wingspan. A pilot would then hand start the two-stroke cycle, 40 horsepower, 30 kilowatt Nelson engine, and take off with a maximum load of 240 pounds, 110 kilograms. On 20 U.S. gallons, 76 liters of fuel, the aircraft could fly 390 miles, 630 kilometers, with an endurance of 6.5 hours. Maximum speed was 72 miles per hour, 116 kilometers per hour, with a cruise speed of 60 miles per hour. Later, a 42 horsepower, 31 kilowatt engine was used in the aircraft. Takeoff from turf was in 250 feet, with 575 feet needed to clear a 50-foot obstacle. It landed in 350 feet. Rate of climb was 550 feet per minute. Its surface ceiling was estimated at 10,000 feet. The GA-466 was the two-seater version, two inches, 51 millimeters shorter, but with a six-foot, 1.8 meter longer wingspan than the GA-468. A more powerful 60 horsepower, 45 kilowatt McCulloch 4318 engine could power the 740 pounds, 340 kilograms of plane and passenger to 70 miles per hour. 110 kilometers per hour. Although the range of the plane was limited to 275 miles, 443 kilometers. Operational history. The test program at Goodyear's facilities near Wingfoot Lake, Akron, Ohio, showed that the inflation could be accomplished with as little as 8 psi, 544 mbar, less than a car tire. The flight test program had a fatal crash when Army aviator Lieutenant Pug Wallace was killed. The aircraft was in a descending turn when one of the control cables under the wing came off the pulley and was wedged in the pulley bracket, locking the stick. The turn tightened until one of the wings folded up over the propeller and was chopped off. With the wings flapping because of loss of air, one of the aluminum wingtip skids hit the pilot in the head, as was clear from marks on his helmet. Wallace was pitched out over the nose of the aircraft and fell into the shallow lake. His parachute never opened. Only 12 Goodyear inflatoplanes were built, but development continued until the project was cancelled in 1973. Variants GA-33 Inflatoplane The initial single-seat version with open cockpit based on the Taylor McDaniel inflatable rubber glider experiments from the early 1930s, one built. GA-447 Inflatoplane An enclosed cockpit and new wing used for undercarriage experiments, tricycle, uniwheel, and hydroskid, one built. GA-466 Inflatoplane Company designation for the AO-2 Inflatoplane GA-468 Inflatoplane Company designation for the AO-3 Inflatoplane XAO-2GI Inflatoplane Military designation for the GA-466, one built XAO-3GI Inflatoplane Military designation for the GA-468, five built 
Surviving Aircraft. Goodyear donated two inflatable planes for museum display at the end of the project, one to the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia and one to the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. Failed verification. Another is on display at the Stonehenge Air Museum in 14, Montana. A fourth is in storage at the National Naval Aviation Museum in Pensacola, Florida. A fifth is in storage with the Ohio Historical Society in Columbus, Ohio. Specifications Goodyear GA468 Inflato Plane, XAO3GI General Characteristics Crew, 1 Length, 19 feet, 8.4 inches, 6.005 meters Wingspan, 22 feet, 6.7 meters Wing Area, 110 square feet, 10 meters squared Airfoil, NACA0015 Empty Weight, 225 pounds, 102 kilograms Gross weight, 550 pounds, 249 kilograms. Max takeoff weight, 590 pounds, 268 kilograms. Maximum crew weight with maximum fuel. Fuel capacity, 20 U.S. gallons, 17 imperial gallons, 76 liters, 125 pounds, 57 kilograms. Compressor, Pesco engine driven compressor. Compressor capacity, 27 cubic feet a minute. 765 liters a minute. Inflation pressure, 7 PSI, 48.26 kilopascals. Inflation time, 5 minutes. Power plant, 1 times Nelson H63A Y065, two-cylinder air-cooled, two-stroke, horizontally opposed piston engine, 42 horsepower, 31 kilowatts, at 4,000 RPM. Propellers, two-bladed fixed-pitch propeller. Performance, maximum speed, 72 miles per hour, 116 kilometers an hour, 63 kn. Cruise speed, 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers an hour, 52 kn. Stall speed, 37 miles per hour, 60 kilometers an hour, 32 kn. Range, 390 miles, 630 kilometers, 340 nautical miles. Endurance, 6 hours, 30 minutes. Service ceiling, 10,000 feet, 3,000 meters. Rate of climb, 550 feet a minute, 2.8 meters a second. Takeoff run, 250 feet, 76 meters on sod. Takeoff distance, 250 feet, 15 meters, 575 feet, 175 meters on sod. Landing run, 350 feet, 107 meters on sod. Thank you so much for listening right to the end. It's always a pleasure to read these articles for you, so if you want to support the podcast, the best thing you can do is subscribe and share it with a friend who might be interested. Of course... Because these articles are being read verbatim with no opinion or commentary added, we will not be answering questions about the subject matter in the comments. My name is Stacy Hewen, and thank you for listening to Wikipedia Audiobook.